it. Yeah, let's speak about the next movement, which is called brush the knee. And I, will, I would like to teach it in layers because there are several principles of movement which I would like to discuss with you. White crane spread its wing. From here, brushing the knee left. Okay, this is just to give you a feel of the movement, but now I would like to discuss it with you a bit and create some Qigong, Tai Chi Qigong exercises for me. Okay, so first of all, I would like to explain to you why it's called brush the knee. What will help me to explain is my Tai Chi thought. Okay, so if you saw the movement, right? So the movement, goes like this. So it's brush the knee, it's about this hand, yeah? So this is a Tai Chi sword. Yeah, if you didn't see, I'll bring it a bit closer. One of the part, a decorative part mostly, not a martial part obviously, is the tassel, which I don't have at the sword. But I invite you to look online right at a chi sword, you will see pictures. So one part, decorative part of the sword is a tassel, yeah, which is hanging here, quite a long one and beautiful. Yeah, my world was destroyed by time and practice. Probably should purchase another one. But anyway, obviously in martial world, when people fight with his sword, there was no tassel. It's mostly decorative, I think. But the movement of this hand, yeah, of the left hand, not my left hand. And if you look on the sword, can be done with the sword. This is the cut. Yeah, from here, it goes and cuts. Now, when the tassel is here, it's like a brush, right? It passes over the knee, it touches it. And I think that this is the origin of the name brush the knee, okay? Now look on the movement with the sword. Any movement in Tai Chi, and especially with the sword, this is why we learn bear and form first before we start weapon, is whole body movement. It's, it's never an isolated movement of the arm. So if you look from here, as the cut happens, yeah, it's a whole body, my pelvis turns, hand, is not moving the elbow. There is obviously an expansion here, like here, right? There is an expansion to fingertips and there is the opening of the arm. So here, the elbow slightly, yeah? But elbow, if you look on the elbow, it just relative to the body, almost not moving. So if you look on the movement from here, the body turns. We can stand shoulder width, then open 45. Just observe first, step forward. So your feet are on a diagonal of a square. If you wish, you can make it a bit wider. Wider, I mean, you still keep the shoulder width here, but you can step a bit wider if it feels more, a bit forward more, if you feel like it. But you can also stop on a diagonal of a square if you wish. And we will practice this movement. Look, we will do a protective movement, yeah? Imagine you are pairing or deflecting a punch coming onto you, yeah? Obviously, when you protecting yourself from the punch, yeah, you don't want to do it with just the palm, yeah? You want to use the whole of this, right? Because you don't know exactly where punch will come, yeah? So it's this moment, yeah, to protect, to increase the probabilities that you meet the hand. So this would be kind of a protective moment. Now from here, pay attention to your elbow. Elbow relative to your body. Avoid doing this movement of the hand. 
And from here, we will just sink into both feet until you arrive approximately, let's do 50-50 now for the sake of this exercise. And again, from here, we will again move and turn, and then we will sink into both feet and turn the pelvis, and we will sit slightly the ribs. Shoulder width. Turn your left foot 45. And step forward, not like this, yeah? Keep the shoulder width, step just forward. So you, your feet are on the diagonal of the square. Sit in both hips. And now move so your weight, 80% is on the back leg and you turn more towards the side. And then turn your pelvis and sink into both feet. And again, push slightly from the right foot, turn to the left, and then sink into both feet and turn your pelvis. And again. So when you arrive to here, it's very good to this look as well. But here, this hand goes down. Actually, if to be precise about the movement, yeah, the elbow doesn't go down. The elbow is as it is relative to the body, but this opens here. Yeah. yeah, so here your hand almost straightens, but not locked and reseated. And here, Again, elbow is not moving here, you see? So from the beginning, this hand going down and turn, 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 turn the body. Look, from here, directly push down, push down. Not to the side, no, don't move your hand to the side. Just turn your body and push the hand down. Yes, try again. So from here, from here, yeah? Don't open the hand like this. Go with your palm down and turn your pelvis, same time. Your palm here is not opening to the side. It's actually going, stay like this and just bring your palm down. In the same distance to the body, yeah. Again, from here. Keep your thumb, same distance from the body, just bring it down. Yeah, without moving even the elbow. Again, down, don't move the elbow. Yeah, so I turn to here, to here, right? I just relax my hand down. Again, from here, elbow stays where it is. I just, yeah. No turn, not whatever. So the hand you see on here, central line, it stays in the center line. Now, now you can add the turn to it, look. So as you go, you turn, turn your body, not the hand. This is exactly what I would like to say. It's expansion and turning of the pelvis. From here, you can relax. Relax, relax, send the energy to the fingertips. So drop, drop the shoulder, drop the, yes, 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 yes. Let's try now this movement together. Now, how we return, this is also something to take care of. Just Look, once you are here, you push from this foot, you drop the shoulder and you push from this foot and you turn again. Look, my hand, is not doing any movement of this. From here, I'm just turning and arriving back to the previous position. And then again. And again.
Try from it. here, you sink into this foot a bit, and then you push from this foot. So here, you see this hand from here changes to protection, and then you turn your body. So let's try from here, just this part of the movement. Let's try together from here. You sink and by sinking, relaxing the shoulder, the hand position changes slightly. And then you push from the foot and you turn, 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 turn. So this protective movement is not a hand movement. From here, it's the body turn. So again, look guys, from here, this hand, you, as you relax and you begin the movement, this hand arrives to the center, yeah, center line. And then as you push from the foot, you turn the pelvis, it stays near the center line. It's not moving, it's your body turn. And then again, down and turn. And then again, yeah, protection. And then down. And turn. Very good. Oh, great, guys. It's good. So this becomes an exercise, which I will leave you probably to work at home. One of the exercises I wanted to teach you. This exercise is a flowing Qigong exercise. So you relax down and sink into both feet. You relax down again and you push from the left foot or from the right foot, turn to the left. Again, you relax down, sink into both feet, approximately 50-50. Then you relax down, push from the left foot, and you arrive again 80% at the back, and so on. And then let's try, just before we finish, try also another side. So shoulder width, turn your right foot 45 degrees, your left foot forward, yeah, and then again, protective movement, deflection, yeah, and then down and turn. And again, and you can make this movement flowing. Relax the shoulders at all parts, yeah, just at all parts of the movement, just let go, relax your shoulder, move from the base, yeah? So your elbow is almost not moving. 